A major medical manufacturer recently rolled out the red carpet for a retired teacher from Nashville, Illinois. Over the years, Ron Brown has had nine pacemakers, all made by Medtronic. Tonight, Five on Your Side's Holden Kerwicki explains how the two have become tied together at the heart. Before he retired, Ron Brown was known by a simple nickname around Nashville High School in Nashville, Illinois. I was known as a BOP battery oped person by my students. That's because in 1973, Ron was given a potentially deadly diagnosis. I was approaching what's called Stokes Adams syndrome. And if I had not received some help, I would have been deceased in one year. A pacemaker was prescribed to fix the problem but during the early 70s. Very few, if anybody around here knew anything about pacers, and I didn't know anybody. In an effort to use his experience as a teaching tool, Brown reached out to the maker, Medtronic. Being a bio teacher, I bugged them for any models that they could send me because I gave talks to my kids in civic groups. CEO Earl Bakken was happy to help. And Earl kind of asked the recipients of our devices you know, what are you going to do with the extra energy, the extra life you get, and how are you going to give it back? 1998 has been a good year for so me. So over the last 45 years. The year 2001 has been a good year for me and my family. Brown has written a letter each year to the company, making mention of the special moments they made possible. When I think of all the marriages and the births of kids and great-grandkids and um, Confirmation graduation goes probably over a hundred or more. I wouldn't be there if it wasn't for these. Every year, those letters are read to the employees at the annual Christmas party. He says, I ran another 10,000 meter run. I've heard 27 letters. They became part of the family. They're my third family. After 50 years and nine pacemakers. I owe them my life, really. Medtronic rolled out the red carpet for a man that is a living embodiment of their mission. Ron embodies that in so many ways by helping people understand that life isn't over when you get a medical diagnosis that's kind of unfavorable. This uh, December, I will write another letter about uh, what has happened and probably will include something like this. In Nashville, Illinois, Holden Kerwicki, five on your side. You gotta love it. With Brown well into his 80s, he has plans already to display all nine pacemakers he's had over the years at the Bakken Museum in Minneapolis to continue teaching future generations about heart health.